Hi there, it's me, Holly, and today I would like to show off Oh Soap. Uh, two weeks ago I also made a little video showing it off. Uh, however, I did not have my microphone at that time, so I couldn't properly talk about it and say what I wanted to say. So I just uh, made a little plugin, um, text-to-speech text uh, plugin for uh, chat, which was really like aimed at uh, these people that are disabled and have trouble reading chats. But the problem is that if you're disabled and can't read chat that well, you probably can't play O's at all. So that was kind of a stupid idea. But still, it kind of shows uh, the power of O's Hope. Anyway, today I would like to talk to you about O's Hope, show some of its features, tell you how it works, tell you how you can use it. Uh, it's on GitHub right now. Um, and just talk a bit about it. So O's Hope is, um, stands for O's uh, Holly's O's Packet Editor, which is abbreviates, no, uh, Hope is the abbrevi abbreviation for it. Uh, the original name was uh, modif Modification Layer for Editing and Sniffing Tasks by Modifying Endpoints, which uh, shortens to Molest Me, but that's a little, I don't know, uh, maybe it doesn't sound as nice as Hope, so I decided to um, <laughs> use Hope instead. Anyway, um, enough talk. Um, about the name. Uh, OSOP is essentially a modifying proxy server uh, sp specified for OS, for use with OS. Um, it will, s if you start it up, let me do that real quick, it uh, will set it up as a system proxy and all traffic on your um, system will go through OSOP. Uh, so if you don't do not want any of my programs to touch your traffic, you should just close the video, go do something else. Um, However, it's open source, so do whatever you want with it. Uh, anyway, yeah, so it's uh, it sets itself as a system proxy, so all internet traffic will go through OSOP, and it can read and modify this traffic. Uh, it also installs an SSL certificate, so it can decrypt HTTPS traffic. Um, and also, another very important feature is that it is modular. Basically, the uh, base application itself, so this exe, does really nothing, it just makes every, all traffic go through the program and go out, of it, go, out, go out again without doing anything to it. So anyone can make a little plugin very easily, I will show that in a second. Um, can make a plug plugin that will read and write um, Bansho packets. So I made uh, OSOP only work on Bansho packets, so that's the packets that handle chats, uh, multiplayer, um, like user panels, all that stuff. Uh, it does not handle score submission, does not handle, I don't know, what is the other stuff, like screenshots. Um, that's not touched by OSOP. So I tried to make it as hard as possible to sheet using OSOP. It's still p possible to um, sheet in multiplayer, but that doesn't really, isn't really useful at all. Um, so, um, let's look at my to-do list. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, I think I can show an example of how it, how much to make a plugin if I can find it. Uh, ta -ta -ta. So essentially you just make a clause that inherits from the I hope plugin interface uh, and then you get like four methods to use, get metadata, a load method, a unbench request and unbench response. So it allows, allows you to um, get a list of packets on every bench request and bench response for you to edit and I include a lot of tools to make it easy to do. Just look at the plugin and um, you can see it's not that hard. Um, okay, so let's just show you how it works then. So I'm gonna delete this chat plugin because it's annoying and nobody will use it. Okay, so essentially you can start this up and then you can start OS. You can also start OS and then start, the start it up. You can like, close it whenever you want. Um, like if you just like close it and open it again, that works fine. Um, so, if I, right now I'm connected to Ripple because OSOP is not something you should use on the official O server. Uh, simply, bec it's not against the rules technically uh, because it does not alter the game client, it only alters web traffic. Uh, but still, I don't think Peppy would like this, so I suggest you to not use it in um, do not use it on uh, actual OS, even though it could have real useful um, uses. 
For example, you could use this as a stream companion, which I might make a video about in the future. Anyway, um, if I log in here to Ripple, see my Ripple account, uh, you might notice that it actually disconnects. That a that's a bug. I will fix it later. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, so, something you might notice is that it says OSOP here in instead of um, Ripple. That's actually a feature of the uh, second example plugin, which does some um, packet injection and packet modifying. Um, it actually injects a packet to automatically open this channel. Just as an example, really. Uh, the first example logs as, as much as it can. So essentially, if you see this, that's all the data that you get from the server. So you can see uh, chat. Oops. Uh, people leaving uh, what this is presence data. So basically, what user ID is linked to what um, account name and rank and where they where people live and stuff. I can also see channels that are um, available and which ones are auto joined. Um, yeah. All that stuff is in here. Um, so I also have like another plugin, which is this extensive example, and it does a lot of stuff. Uh, so I made it have a little uh, chat interface. So if you type hope, say test, it will just ping back with another message. Uh, here, test. You cannot click the uh, name. You can change this to like be an actual person or whatever. It's all your decision. Um, anyways. Some other examples of things you can do. You can make a notification appear. I think it's, I don't know my own commands. Um, is this? Yes, it is. So you can um, use OSHOPE to make notifications appear. You can do that whenever you want. For example, when somebody in your Twitch chat um, says a certain word or mentions something, you can make a notification appear by just integrating with different services. Uh, you can play around with the client itself. Uh, by for example, this is the RTX thing. I just triggered it and you will see what happens There you go, that's the thing that was used in cheaters um, to I don't know scare them I guess it doesn't really have any use except for saying that somebody noticed you um, This is from the the infamous uh, Celius eyes have awoken or something in that uh, matter. I don't know um, Anyway, I should look at my commands because I forgot them um, ta -ta -ta. I made a little uh, proof of concept for exploiting a exploit, in a vulnerability in Ripple, which is if you go into um, multiplayer and somebody has a um, match that does not have, that has a password set, so it's password protected, you can't join it. Uh, Ripple actually sends the passwords anyway, even if you're not inside the lobby. So I made a little um, like script that runs in the background and on every time you get such a packet it would send you a message sadly nobody is using a password so I can't really show it off um, there's some other stuff I'm gonna um, toggle some stuff such as peppy mode oops uh, what else is there that's kind of funny um, I should turn off a little bit the yeah, other Okay, just give me a second. <laughs> okay, anyway, so if I press F9 and I actually no, I should uh, force. There you go. Actually, uh, yeah, if I force a um, packet, a uh, action update. So actions is basically what you see in here. So this person is idle. This person is modding something. This is multiplaying. This one is playing. But if I look at my own. Um, uh, my own uh, accounts. See, I'm submitting totally legit scores, and I realize that's probably hard to read because of poor color choices. But it says submitting totally legit scores. So basically, you can this is editing outbound packets. So the client is actually saying, "Hey, we're idle," but I'm changing that to "I'm um, in state submitting," and the extra data is totally legit scores. So it makes this thing and it's actually visible for everyone. This is not something you should try on the actual O servers because it will probably probably trigger some integrity check or whatever. Um, and it's, well, just don't do it. It's kind of stupid. Um, let's see, help, toggle, what's that, action? Okay, uh, I have some other uh, fancy stuff just to like show what you can do. So if I go into here right now, suddenly everybody is uh, testing OSOP 
has a performance, has a BP of three, uh, 32k, is rank minus 1, has minus infinity uh, accuracy, and has a play count of 2 to the power of 31, minus 1. Um, just something, you know, funny. Uh, this actually changed their name to Wanker, but it was already cached on the client, so that didn't work. I might see someone... No, whatever. So yeah, um, <laughs> that's uh, another like fun little thing you can do. It's fun for screenshots, but it can be used to like fake stuff, so don't do it. Uh, it's double TF. All right. Uh, anything else? Oh, I, you can actually like update this probably. Uh, God, no buttons. Yes. Yeah. So you, you, you can make it like update by just asking new data to the client, uh, to the, uh, from the server. Um, there's some other stuff that's kind of hard to show off. Oh, toggle. Spectate. You can modify spectator uh, spectator data. Uh, sadly, Ripple has a horrible way of handling spectator data. So even if I start spectating someone, it doesn't immediately start because they don't send the right packets. Uh, actually, they don't send the right spectator packets. Um, so I would have to wait until this person changes map. Um, I don't even know who I'm spectating. Uh, anyway, there's some other stuff. You can modify any data in multiplayer. Um, but yeah, you can just, you should look at um, some example plugins and see what you can do. It's really cool. You can get some really interesting data, for example, with a stream companion, and you can see what map you're playing and what the beatmap MD5 is. So you can look it up using the OZ API. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of it that I want to show you. Um, uh, yeah, it's available on, on GitHub. So if I really quickly go to my second screen, if I can find it, there you go. Uh, Oso Hope is available on GitHub. Yeah. Uh, on GitHub, I uploaded it five hours ago. Uh, uses Titanium Web Proxy for the actual proxy server and uses a library called Hopeless, which is also by me. You can also use this library. It basically handles bench show packets. It can read uh, raw, by, raw byte arrays and write to them. Uh, parse them and all that stuff. Uh, it's licensed under the MIT license, so you can do whatever you want with it practically, as long as you. Well, I think the only thing you have to do is include a copy of the license, and that's it. Uh, just don't claim it as your own, and it would be really cool if you give me credit if you use it. Uh, anyway, that's it, I think. You feel free to use. Um, I need to have a license. Uh, feel, feel free to use this in your projects. Make a cool plugin, have some fun with it. Um, as far as I know, I don't violate any copyright laws, so this should not be taken offline by Peppy, even though he probably wants to. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Have fun with it. Goodbye.